Now for an update on the Stobart Holt murder trial. It's a case of kidnapping and murder, and now a Polk County jury will decide if Holt is responsible for a ransom plot involving a missing co-worker. Our Eric Waxler is in live in Bartow, where both sides had one final chance to present their case. Eric? Good evening. A lot of complex information for this jury to go over. They deliberated for two hours and just moments ago told the judge they're ready to call it a day. They'll be back at it to continue deliberations tomorrow morning. The prosecution says the defendant is the guy, that everything points to him. But Holt's side says that he's innocent. They say they point out the fact that there's no body, no murder weapon, and no hard evidence. Cell phone records just might be the key, whether or not a Polk County jury finds Toby Holt guilty of kidnapping and murdering a co-worker. Robert Wiles disappeared from his family's aviation repair business in April 2008. His father, who owned the business, got a ransom email and text asking for $750,000. Investigators found those notes came from his son's cell phone. The prosecution says Holt's cell signal and that of the victims followed virtually the same path. He is totally lying about where he was. He's down here, figuring out what to do with Robert Wiles' corpse. Holt testified someone with the victim's phone may have been following him, or maybe matching signals were just a coincidence. His defense also presented evidence they say proves tracing cell signals is not an exact science. Could he be driving down the Polk Parkway? Yeah. Could he be north of there? Yeah. Could he be west of there? Yeah. Wiles' body was never found, and he is presumed dead. There's no physical evidence to show a murder, but investigators did find a gun in Holt's car. Just because Mr. Holt had a gun, does every person who has a gun shoot someone? I submit to you the answer to that is no. The prosecution also brought up the possibility there was no kidnapping and that it was all just a cover-up for the murder over a workplace grudge. It was motivated by ill will. It was motivated by spite. It was able by resentment. And it was certainly unjustified and inexcusable. And the defense not only says that Holt is innocent, but they say the guilty man is a former co-worker at that aviation repair company. Again, the jury deliberated for two hours. They have gone home for the night and will resume deliberations tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Live at the Polk County Courthouse, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News.